Coming to the stage right now, ladies and gentlemen, nice hand from Mario Joyner. Give it up. I'm over here from Santa Monica. That's where I live, Santa Monica, California. If y'all don't know what Santa Monica's like, I'll try to explain it to you. Santa Monica is a nice little beach community where homeless people and interracial couples go to live in peace. <laughs> so if you're a homeless, interracial couple, Santa Monica, great place for you to live. They set up very nice down there for you. A very, very strict non-staring ordinance in Santa Monica. For the homeless, for the homeless people, you know, because you go to Santa Monica, you see our homeless, you will stare at them because they don't look like they're homeless at all. They're all well-dressed, well-mannered, you know. A little bit uppity because it's a nice neighborhood. You know. <laughs> uppity fucking homeless people, it's true. It's true yeah. The guy asked me if I had any extra dollars. I'm like, what? Extra dollars? <laughs> what is that, like dollars don't go with the rest of your dollars, extra dollars? I never found any extra dollars amongst my dollars. <laughs> if I do, I'm going to keep them. Because I think my extra dollars will spend just as good as my primary ones. I think they will. <laughs> trying to trick you <laughs> and giving up your extra money. Just the money you don't need. Oh, oh, here, you can have that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been holding those for you. Been doing some traveling. Went to South Africa. That was exciting. Went there the wrong time of year. I went there in the wintertime. And I made that mistake because I didn't know they had a winter in Africa. <laughs> I never heard nobody go, what, you going to Africa? You better take a jacket. It might be kind of chilly down there. <laughs> But don't get it wrong, they get, it gets cold in Africa. They have a bona fide winter in South Africa. Yeah, I was totally shocked and unprepared. Got off the plane, had flip-flops and shorts on. Just kept complaining about the weather. Finally, a couple of South African people pulled me to the side, like, Mr. John, you know, it's not that strange that it's actually cold in South Africa. Because if you look at the globe, you'll notice that South Africa is very, very close to where Antarctica. And I went home, looked at the globe, turns out they were right. <laughs> South Africa is so far down, so south, that it's actually close to Antarctica. I also reminded them that South Africa was also close to Africa, too, which is why. <laughs> that's why I expected some warm weather, because it's right there in Africa. See, it's right there in Africa. <laughs> that's why they call it South Africa and not North Antarctica. It's Africa. <laughs> what was in South Africa? Why did you go there? Comedy, Kevin, comedy. Oh, really? They have it yeah, there? Yeah. I do it all over the world, all over the world. I always thought it was too cold to do comedy there. I know, yeah. <laughs> I found that out, yes. So you go all over the world doing comedy. I do, I do. I've been allowed. Since they lifted the Jim Crow laws, we can go anywhere we want to go. <laughs> I'm taking full advantage of the lifting of the Jim Crow laws. <laughs> but you were talking about the homeless people that are panhandling. And I go down um, Santa I, I Monica. I didn't say panhandling, but go ahead. I was you thinking, can't say I was panhandling. Thinking, you can't why not? Say that. The guy had a pan, and, you can't and he even, was handling it. Really? And you, you can't say it. There's a lot of protocol with Is homeless people. Is that politically yeah. incorrect? You can't even give them the actual food that you're going to give them. You have to put it down near the garbage can, turn your back, and they come and get it. If you give it to them, they feel like you're looking down on them. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. That's my protocol. One time I offered to buy a guy a sandwich, and, uh, or I gave him a sandwich. He goes, what kind is it? I said, it's tuna. He goes, no. I know. <laughs> that happened to me, too. I came outside of uh, um, Johnny Rockets. I gave a guy a sandwich. He looked at it. He's like, so how'd you come about that? I'm like, yeah, how'd you come about it? Well, I had a job. Well, I got a job first. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I got hungry. I looked in my pocket. I had money. <laughs> and I ran away. I went to the cash machine. Came back more money. So um, I, I asked somebody else this. Would you go out with like a handicapped uh, woman? Would I go out with a handicapped yeah, woman? Yeah, and I'm, I'm encouraging it because I think a lot of times people overlook that. And, um, yeah, I guess I would. How about the, the guy with the, with the no legs and, and the beautiful Yeah, he's he hot. He is hot. <laughs> no. But, you know, can I tell you something? I think that those uh, blades on his stumps are um, they're actually at an advantage to run. It is an advantage. They're springs. They're like springs. Yeah. He can, he can increase the tension on it. How the hell was he running with regular people? Cut my legs off. Put those blades Damn on me. Right. I'll show you how to run. Just, just put some wheels on his ankles. What the hell? What are they doing? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but she didn't care. She didn't care that he had the blades. But don't you think, you see how pretty she was? What the fuck is she doing you know, with a guy with be no honest. legs? What is she doing with a guy with no legs? Mario, come on. Come on, I'm You're serious. You're showing your real side right now. Please. It's not, it's not about the legs. Are you a leg it's man? It's not. You're a leg man, aren't you? No, I'm a vagina man. That's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Mario Joyner, ladies and gentlemen.